What up guys, it's Sink. See I'm here in Fodia and I'm gonna be doing a class tutorial for you guys with the Guildmaid Etho. Say what's up man. What's up guys? Uh his channel is um Renegade, correct? Yep. Alright. He has a pretty good um channel. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check him out. Alright, so let's um start this up. Alright, Flame Dragon Warrior came last year, 2014, and I believe in November, late November. And you have to buy the uh, AQ Dragons Founder Pack for $9.99 on the um, app. Whatnot. And it's still available to this very day, so you can still get this class or whatnot. This is a physical type class with a warrior mana regeneration. And this is not the um, this is the typical uh, warrior build that you have, not the Dragon Lord build, mainly focusing on haste and dexterity, but this was mainly focusing on endurance. And the uh, mana regeneration warrior, you gain men from hitting and being hitting in combat. So, let me take off the navel and show you the armor. What do you think of the armor, Etho? I'll grab that crap out. Put it in hand. Sweet. What do you think of it? Ah, uh, it's all right to me, but it could have been uh, thought a little bit better. I don't like the really like the shoulder plates. All right, let's uh, start this up. Oh, that's what happened. Accidentally lowered the volume on accident. <laughs> all right, so let's just start this up. Uh, let's show you the auto attack. It's just simple. All right, this weapon is completely stable as well. So, this is the simple auto attack right here. This is your um, basic auto attack, and these guys hit pretty hard. So, nothing really too special about that one. If there's a special auto attack or whatnot in a class, I'll be sure to explain it to you. Alright, let's talk about the first skill Fire Dragon's Roar, 10 mana, 4 second cooldown, physical skill, and the range is close. Basically, this does a pretty good chunk of damage. Moderate damage, actually. Hits up to 3 people, but it's um, close range. So you have to be right on target to hit it, and your other abilities rely on this skill. As you see right here, it does a pretty good chunk of damage. I hit 904 crit, 305 non-crit. Like, let me take him down <laughs> before I die. But this ability stacks to 3. Give you, I believe it might actually even stack to more. I'm not too sure. We're actually going to test that out while we're facing the boss. So I can actually get the full effect of the class. Alright guys, let's talk about the second skill. Burn of Akrilov, 25 mana, 15 second cooldown, physical skill, and the range is close. Basically, this does a pretty good um, chunk of damage if you have effects of Dragon Swear. If you don't have the, any effects of Dragon Swear, it would just apply a DOT for 10 seconds. This skill has a 25% chance to add Smothering Smoke which um, stuns the target for 6 seconds so again this is kinda similar to like the blade of all 25% chance to uh, put a stun on for 2 seconds but this one's for 6 seconds so it's a really good stun and whatnot. and Dragon's War increases the damage of Burn of a Krilov so as you see right here 976 crit which is not that bad at all and as you see I stunned the opponent for 6 seconds so I have is 2 uh, animation there is that your weapon? So you're like breathing fire onto him or something? Oh, that's the um, Dragon's Roar. That's the first skill. As you see, I'm just stacking up Burn of a Curl. As you see, boom, 1.3k non crit with a 222 uh, damage over time. If I didn't explain it, the damage over time would last for um, 10 seconds, which is a pretty good chunk of uh, just damaging your opponent just constantly while you're really struggling on your long cooldowns because this class long cooldowns really cripples it and whatnot. Uh, let's talk about the third skill, Dragon Strength. This is probably, well, Burn of a Crit is my favorite skill in the class, but Dragon Strength is the lifeline of the class. Uh, 20 mana, 12 second cooldown, physical skill. This is a moderate damage move that's exactly 200% weapon damage. If you don't have any effects on the opponent, I mean not any effects, any Dragon Roar on the opponent, it applies a blaze, increasing your strength by 25% for I believe 8 seconds. As you see now my overall strength is a lot stronger it just lets me put myself on more of the offensive side is you is it easier to explain it. It puts you more on the offensive side and lets you put out positive damage more than you usually do 
if you guys don't know exactly what the strength factor does, it increases your attack power, your physical damage moves, and your critical strike damage. Okay, now if you have effects of Dragon's Roar up, oh, I love that sword, that sword's cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, I that over the other stuff in there. Oh yeah, I just go ahead and flash out the whole shop. <laughs> yep. But if you have one stack of Dragon's Roar, you need at least one stack of Dragon's Roar to apply the defensive skill, which is this extra defense, which gives you, a, I believe, a 45% damage resistance for 15 seconds. And also, if you have, it's kind of similar to Chrono Dragonite, if you have Temporal Rift on and you hit Chrono Dragonite's skin from Rift Release, the effect on yourself would not miss, so you automatically get a damage resistance, allowing you to take more damage than you usually do. That basically sums up for that skill. Alright guys, let's talk about the ring for passives. Uh, fire Dragon Scales, this gives you a 30% uh, spell resistance, so cash the classes be where all your damage doing on a Flame Dragon War will be decreased by 30%, just about one third of their damage overall. And Dragon's Blood, this increases your endurance by 30%. People ask me why do I have 3k plus health on this class because that 30% endurance buff on this class makes it a lot makes it live a lot longer and giving it time to stack and just do positive damage on the opponent. Alright guys, let's talk about the last skill. Burning Rage. This is basically uh, not a nuke, but it's an extra boost of damage that does a little bit more than um, Burn for Krolov, depending on your stacks. Actually, this, um, this skill doesn't really go off of the stacks of Dragon Shore. It just basically, if you miss your stacks, this um, this the last skill will always put that really good damage out if you're lacking it from the Dragon Tour. So, 30 mana, 15 second cooldown. So let me show you guys right here. 610 non-crit, and it puts a pretty strong DLT on them as well. So if you complement that with Burn of a Krilloff, you actually have a double DLT on the opponent. Now, when you see all the skills combined, this class, is you basically choose if you want to go from offensive to defensive. If you go completely offense, you might not have that much defense or, that you want. But the ability of the class and how strong it is, going straight forward, is absolutely crazy. I recommend you, if anybody's facing a boss or what, I really good buffers. Maybe a bar of this class will really go on the edge. Let me show you guys right now how this class deals. This, pop, this constant damage you see. I think I hit a 1k, exactly like straight up 1000 and straight up 2000. <laughs> so the class is really good, man. Uh, what are your thoughts on that, Renegade? Um, well, when I was ranking up to rank 10, I didn't really think much of it, but it turned out I was using the wrong enhancements the whole time. But, um, yeah, I got sort of, I guess I'm sort of like more classes that you do lots of damage with, but this class just seems like a good class overall, but I guess it's not my kind of class. Yeah, so over, it's kind of more of an overtime, it's basically patience or whatnot. This is one of my favorite classes in the game so far. Uh, speaking of enhancements, uh, what do you think that would be recommended for this? Well, by looking at the moves, probably either Fighter or Luck could work, but probably more Fighter. Actually, this class is really good with full luck, and I'll explain to you why. When you think about the class, what are the key points that fighter stats give you? More strength and more endurance. Now, you already have a spell resistance, and your endurance is already decreased by another 30%, meaning your you're, you're, um, endurance is already pretty notched. With the Dragon Strength ability, a blade is giving you more strength. You can actually focus on, you can actually, you're pretty notched on strength and endurance, so you can actually focus on your crit, trance, and critical strike. Complementing the strength from the, um, yeah, from the a blaze buff, doing a lot more critical damage. So it, it basically, or you can even go full fire for the max endurance or whatnot, and uh, just overall strength. But I prefer more of a luck build than a fire build. As you see my enhancements right here. Um, my cape is luck. Uh, the class is fire, I believe, and my weapon is well, luck right now. So it's in my helm is luck. So I only have one fighter in the rest luck, which is a pretty good even build, I would say, so my, for myself. I've actually got the same as mine. Yeah, I found that that worked pretty well. Cause you got to have a bit of, a bit of that luck in there as well. 
Yeah, but soon uh, when the rewrite comes, they're going to be changing a lot of stuff. They're going to get people to lean off the luck factor because the luck skill is kind of mandatory in these classes lately. So it's really good for something different to get people off the luck build. Yeah. Alright guys, so it's time for the solo. So let's come down here. People thought I couldn't solo this person right here. 69k health with Flame Dragon Warrior. Oh, don't attack. Let me get out of that. How hard did he hit? Let me know. <laughs> uh, 100. 100? Yeah, man. Huh. A lot? That's crits. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll start this up. I'm actually going to start off with, um, let's get the good taking ability with the defense. Man, this is good for soloing or not. If you have a Arachnomancer with this class, oh my god. This uh -huh. thing, this thing would go off. Um, so, um, what are you planning for your channel, Etha? Well, I'm sort of wanting to lean out of the AQW stuff, so I'm sort of wanting to degrade my amount of AQW, but in terms of AQW, just some new stuff, want to do some class guides, and that's basically it. You? Uh, yeah, I do plan on expanding my uh, my varieties and whatnot in games. Very soon when I get my new computer and new um, the specs and whatnot, I'll be doing a lot more art lately and doing a lot more um, like speed arts and whatnot to say what I'm planning on doing in um, future times and whatnot. But yeah, mainly uh, I like doing maybe slowing down on weekly releases, but mainly focusing on classes and PvP and um, class guides, which mainly what this channel is for. But other than that, just um, basically keep on doing what I'm doing. Uh, I take any suggestions or whatnot. If like anything like mini game I used to, I did uh, earlier, uh, Evade Noga, that was pretty fun. I haven't done that in I believe it's since like November, so that was pretty fun to do. But other than that, just keep on doing what I'm doing and keep on making videos. I guess, huh? Yeah. Nice. Uh, a lot of uh, guild members have. YouTube channels. I'll put all their um, link in description. Uh, Delta, he has a pretty good channel. He just started. Uh, his first video was actually on Legion Paladin, then Legion Doom Knight, and then we did a Legion Paladin Doom Knight clash to see which one is better. And it actually came out really good on his behalf for somebody who's uh, not that ex skilled as just basically help him out, give him the guides or whatnot. He did really good on his behalf. Uh, Matt, he's actually the one who inspired me of doing videos I'm gonna put his link in the description uh, okay I took him down Vok the Tundra Blade what is that someone was telling me about that blade actually oh it looks pretty pretty decent eh it's not bad eh I don't know someone was telling me about it I think it was a hard drop well I guess I got lucky <laughs> yeah Alright guys, this basically sums up this video. Like and subscribe, share with your friends. As always, hit that subscribe button. I will put Renegade, aka Ethos, channel in the description and all my other um, guild members in the description. I'm Sink. See you guys later. See ya. Father, son, cause he's a fence, I'm a mystery, and that leaves me nothing! Many times if you wanted to die, it's too late for me! All you have to do is get rid of me!